It's universally agreed upon that Super Robot Wars V is when the series really started getting easier. With the addition of EXE actions, allowing pilots to learn every pilot skill at the same time while having a lot more than previous games, and being able to use spirit commands on the enemy turn, you could breeze through the international era games without much effort, barring any kind of challenge run. While these systems are now mainstays in the series, Super Robot Wars 30 pushed the power parts to allow for some pretty crazy combinations. And to further contribute to the extremely powerful part additions, the game allows you to carry over as many items as you want as long as you have the points to do so. This makes for some interesting and downright broken New Game Plus runs. In this video, I'll be going over the top 4 most game-breaking part combinations for Super Robot Wars 30, along with some variations for each, except for number 4. Stay tuned for number 1, it's pretty insane. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy. So starting with number 4, we have the Big Damage combination. Now, this combo isn't as useful throughout a playthrough as the rest of the list, which is why it's number 4, but hear me out. This combination is basically just the 10% increased damage parts, Super Robot Wars Spirit, Replica Spirit Crystal, Brave Police Emblem, and the S Adapter, which also gives increased damage due to raising the weapon adaptivities up to S. Once you have max upgraded unit weapon damage and pilot damage stats, this unit now does absurd damage, being able to easily one-shot most bosses with little effort, a Valor or Soul and a smash hit for good measure. But the real reason why it's on this list is because of Gold 4 specifically using these parts to deal over 1 million damage, breaking the display damage cap of 999,999. While this combination of parts isn't the sole reason why he does so much damage, of which I have a breakdown of all factors in a previous video, link in the description, it's still part of a game-breaking setup. Only a handful of units have over 300,000 HP, especially in the base game, and as stated earlier, isn't totally useful just casually playing through the game, unlike the rest of this list. Next we have the Movement and Resources combination at number 3. This consists of Credit Gain Meter, MXP Converter, and PP Gain Meter. I mean, all of these together just make sense. Put them on a high movement unit and have them run back and forth in the back line while you go through stages and you got some free and easy resources. 500 credits, 20 MXP, and 1 pilot point per space moved. Now, if you've been following me since the release of Super Robot Wars 30, you may remember an old, and kinda crappy looking back on it to be honest, guide on how to AFK farm these resources by exploiting the auto mode function added in this game. I'll leave a link in the description for anyone that isn't aware. Just set it up to run while you're asleep or at work or school, and you'll have enough resources to max out a lot of stuff when you get back. Do it for long enough and you'll be capped on credits and MXP in no time, with nothing more to spend them on. As for pilot points, well this one takes a while. To help with this, you can actually stack these parts. Throw on 3 or 4 times PP gain meters, MXP converters, or credit gain meters to quickly rack up specific resources, and you'll be absolutely loaded in no time. Next up at number 2 we got the best supply parts combo. I really love this combination, it sets up for some cool things. A unit with the big damage parts combination gets to go even crazier with this one, and is used to quickly set up the 1 million damage attack. Just make sure the pilot you're giving these parts to has the supply parts skill. It consists of Miraculous Mark, which gives pretty much every spirit command, Zeal, Soul, Valor, and Charge being the most notable. Victorious Turn, which increases damage done by 30% and reduces damage taken by 30% for one turn. And in this game, one turn is all you need. Dubious Health Drink, which restores 100 SP and maxes out the morale. And lastly, Smash Hitter, for a free smash hit for the turn. Not totally necessary because EXC is so easy to come by, but why not? This combination essentially gives you a super unit first turn, especially useful for map attackers to run around and demolish most of the stage easily, even if they aren't completely maxed out on casual difficulties. It's also incredibly useful on the stage above the Angel's Halo, where your pilot's morale is tanked at the start of the stage. I always give these parts to Cybuster at the start of the stage and clean house right away. I recommend putting these parts on the Gekoi for this, since it has 5 power part slots in New Game Plus. You can use all 4 and a Zealous Trigger, which allows you to use a tactical command, usually special, for an extra buff in melee and range stats, and, if Lelouch is aced, another EXC point. You can also use one of your battleships to restore action on them and give them attacker also, since this is all done at the beginning of the stage anyway. If you're low on EXC, especially on your first playthrough, an EXC Mega Booster can be added to give 5 EXC. Miraculous Mark, Victorious Turn, and Dubious Health Drink is the base combination, so you got a couple slots to add to. Not quite as game breaking per se as the other entries, however still extremely useful, and I recommend using it at all points of the game. It also helps enable number 4 and number 1 on this list. Before we get to number 1, here's somewhat of an honorable mention, and I use it quite a bit actually. 
is four to five miraculous marks on a unit or two. This allows you to throw a unit around to snipe things with a soul, and if you messed up a map attacker's turn, you can save them with one of these. I like using them on the Dreis Traeger or other high movement units. Anyway, on to number one. For number one, we have the parts combo that completely trivializes the game. Enemy turns? What are those? 50 plus enemies in a stage to get through? No problem. Like having a unit with over 10,000 score? This will get you there in no time. The best map clearing setup in any of the games to date. And it's only really two parts. We have the EXE Assembler, which doubles your EXE gains, and Dynamo Meter, which restores 10 energy per space moved. When using a map attacker, as long as you shoot down at least two units per attack, you gain four EXE. Multi-action is only three EXE with the AOS upgrade, so you never have to worry about running out of it. With Dynamo Meter, you never have to worry about running out of energy if your unit uses it for their map attack. Psy Flash, for example, only uses 35 energy, so moving four spaces will keep them topped off. I also like using Turbo Penetrator for the extra movement benefits, increased movement animation without the need to hold another button down, and it saves on energy a bit more since you won't use any while moving. SP Getter is kinda fun too, since you also restore 10 SP with each group of kills, sustaining your SP resource also. Regular viewers of my channel know how much I love using Psybuster with this setup, since Psy Flash is post-movement, doesn't have friendly fire, and has one of the best area of effect ranges for a map attack. I feel Psybuster is the best choice. Psy Flash is a little on the weak side, but that doesn't doesn't matter much when he's maxed out and you throw a victorious turn on him. Honestly though, any unit with a decent map attack, like the Gekoe or the Ikaruga, can benefit just as much from this setup. Now the fun thing about EXE Assembler is that it actually stacks, so if you put two on a unit, just destroying single units will keep your EXE equivalent. So you can go around clearing an entire stage single-handedly with a gun blaster if you wanted to. This is definitely the most game-breaking combination of parts. No matter how many units a stage has, you can clear it first turn with only one fully self-sustaining unit. Now go out and try these part combinations in your playthroughs. They're a lot of fun to demolish the game with. I'll put where you can get each part in the description, though some parts may only be one per playthrough, so carryover will be necessary. Let me know what you guys thought of the list, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.